Now we will practice finding the domain and range of functions. A reminder, the domain of the function is the set of all input values for the independent variable, which is usually x. And we say that a function is defined at x if x is in the domain. And if x is not in the domain, then f is said to be undefined at x. The range of a function is the set of all values output that depend on the input, and these are usually y values. We can find the domain of a function given graphically. If we look at this figure below, part A is asking us to find the domain of f. So remember the domain is all possible x values. Now since this is a continuous curve, we have to ask ourselves what are all of the possible x values of this curve? Well, I see that the, it starts here and it goes all the way over to here. But if we notice, it's a closed circle here, so it includes this x value and an open circle here, so it does not include this x value. So the domain for f in interval notation would be from negative 1, that's where it starts, including all the way over to 5, but not including that value because of the open circle. So let's just put a note here, closed circle, and here was an open circle. So that's the difference between the parentheses and the brackets. Now that we have this graph, we can use a graph to find function values. So part B is asking us to find f of negative 1. Now remember, that's just asking us to find the y value at x equals negative 1. Well, at x equals negative 1, y is 1. They also want us to find f of 2. Remember, that's just asking us to find the y value at x equals 2. And that y value here is negative 3. Lastly, they're asking us to find, uh, in part c, the range of our graph. The range is all possible y values. So if I look at this graph, remember that y goes down and up. So we have to ask ourselves, what's the lowest y value? This is starting here. And all the way up to the highest possible y value here. And notice there are closed circles for both of these values. So my range is the lowest y value, negative 3, right? lowest y value, all the way up to my highest y value, positive 3. And that's, we use brackets because it is closed circles on those values.